commence. We are currently five days away from London and I have actually had some progress. Some developments have been made in terms of our packing and I'm going to show you what those developments are and then we are going to get on into the clothing. Behind me is my rack of clothes and I've actually put all the clothes that I think I would like to bring with me and I'm just gonna show what those little pieces are. In this rack I've got two coats. I've got this totem coat which is perfect. I actually had a haul on my other channel um, with this piece and it's just like a really great quilted coat. Perfect for the cold damp weather and it's really long. We have three different scarves. We have this really cute houndstooth, this mini wool scarf, and then a gray cashmere scarf, and lots of sweaters, pants, and stuff like that. So let me just move you around and I will show you what we've got going on. Actually, we're gonna go to the ground. Let's go on the ground. All right, welcome to my floor. I'm gonna show you some of the accessories that I'm thinking about bringing. Because we're going in the winter, we have to think winter accessories and staying warm. So we've got two things to keep our hands warm. These mittens are from Max Mara and I love these because they've got the little clasp and this leather string so you can actually just put it around like a scarf and if you don't want to wear your mittens they just dangle and they make a cute little accessory but they also are perfect for keeping your hands warm. So I have these and then I also have a pair of leather gloves which are great and these leather gloves are cashmere lined love the quilted look of these in terms of keeping my head warm i have a nice cream color cashmere hat it is from aritzia just very minimal subdue and then i also have a balaclava that i picked up from aritzia as well this is 100 percent cashmere super warm very very soft it can look really funky or it can look really chic it just depends on how you style it so i'm going to try and do a little styling of that and hopefully i'll get a photo of that on in london and you guys can see and let me know your thoughts on that because it can it can really go either way and then for those rainy days i have the cutest little quilted water resistant hat this is from the wool company from um canada this is great obviously my hair is in a ponytail but it will keep my head nice and dry and I love it it's very cute when you have like a full outfit on and I just have a couple pair of wool blend socks I have a black pair a great like charcoal gray pair and a brown pair other accessories I have my Celine belt this this is the medium size triumph belt um, with the black leather I have these two pouches these are both from gooseberry intimates the packs these things they come when you purchase something from gooseberry but i have all of my bras in here i'm bringing four five different bras and then i put all of my underwear in here and let me know in the comments how many pairs of underwear do you bring for a seven day trip because i can tell you i probably have like 15 pairs of underwear in here I always overpack because you just never know and there's different varieties you know we got the thongs we got the briefs we got the regular chickies you know I don't know I can't be the only one let me know in the comments how many pairs of underwear do you bring on a week trip is it always more or is it just perfect let me know I think I bring double double the days double the days other practical things that I just have here these converters outlet converters I had no idea that London has a different outlet than other European countries because I've been to Italy and I've been to Paris um, and I thought that was the converter I could bring and then I realized it's completely different so if you're going to London the UK they use different outlet converters so I picked these um, two packs from Amazon and they're perfect because they've got the this guy and they've got the USB they've got two more um, regular plugs here and then your standard three prong plug there. So I bought two, one for me and one for my husband. In terms of accessories, I've got this little hair clip bow, my vintage Camellia Chanel brooch, and then this other vintage Chanel brooch. So I'm gonna bring those. I'm gonna pack this little eye mask for the plane from Missouri. This is a really sweet jewelry travel case. I actually have the full size and this is my married initials on it let me show you what this looks like inside 
So it's got some places for some necklaces, earrings, and then some rings here. So I need to go through my jewelry case and decide what I wanna bring. So this is actually my jewelry case. It's like the, this is the mini version of this. I love this set. I got this for Christmas from my mother-in-law. And right now it's not really organized, but it has a bunch of tears in it. Let me just put the tripod on. I think I'm gonna bring these earrings. These are from AB Ellie. I think I might also pack some of my Chanel earrings. So I have these ones. Or I also have these white studs, which are really cute. In terms of bracelets, that's really sweet. For going out earrings, I want to have something a little bit fancier. So I have these, which I actually wore on my wedding day as like my reception outfit. Bow earrings. Okay, so my other option for going out earrings are these ones. And I actually wore these to our holiday shoot. These are stunning. And these are by Amelia George. Rings, I think I'm just gonna keep my like basic stack here. Here is our suitcase, it's the Cal Pack. I've had this for many years now. I actually got this at Home Sense, and this was like such a big deal, such a big brand. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so cool for having this. And now of course, like my wish list is a Ramoa. That would be like so, so cool to have one of those, but they're bloody expensive, so. Anywho, let's get started. We basically have two large compartments here and then a little sleeve, which is perfect for like any little things. So I think I might divide it into sweaters and then bottoms. And then I also have some coats. So let's, let's see how this goes. These are all our bottoms. charcoal, silk skirt, black trousers, skort, leggings. I'm going to pack my dress in the bottoms as well. Perfect. These are my toiletries. So makeup. Keeping shoes actually very minimal. I'm bringing these Saint Laurent shoes, which I've worn to death. I've definitely broken them in, and these will be perfect because the leather will be pretty water repellent and they're super comfortable. For the muckier, colder, rainier days, I have these boots, which are a really cool color. They have kind of this, like, I don't know, shiny, waxy material on them with a nice elastic band and like massive treads. These are from Montclair. For a going out night, 
we have these Jimmy Choo's. Again, super comfortable. I've worn these and I actually just recently got these repaired because the crystal on the back came off of one of the shoes. So these just got repaired and returned to me from Jimmy Choo. And then my new beautiful shoes. These are the Chunky Loafers from YSL. And again, they've got nice treads on them. They're super comfortable. So these will be perfect. So I really think these are the only shoes I'm going to bring. I've packed my carry on and this basically has all of the valuable shoes anything like that's designer with my air tag in here my blazer and pants and then i've zipped up everything that's in there and then i have my travel outfit all planned out here the coat that i will be wearing on the plane i need to put the book i'll be reading in here and then once i have all of my electronics i'll put all of my electronics in here as well like my chargers my laptop etc and i need to actually put my sunglasses in there but yeah those are my bags packed Jay's pretty much all packed as well. He's like a full empty suitcase here, which is great for bringing back souvenirs. Um, but yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Okay, we are in my bathroom because it is time to pack toiletries. And I'm gonna look at my handy dandy toiletry packing list. If you want a copy of my packing list, I'll maybe make like a little cute freebie PDF. I need the basic shower stuff. So like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, loofah, razor. Okay, so let's do that. I'm just trying to think of how I want to pack my makeup versus my toiletries. So I've got this little case from Nori. I have this little container full of different sized what do you call these bags this might be good for larger hair products and body products we are on the ground in my living room because this packing process is chaos i have like four toiletry bags in front of me with just a lot of stuff in it and i need to organize this in a way that makes sense that is logical that's what we're going to attempt to do right now i'm going to i think maybe bring you lower now you're one with the bags. There are so many, so many bags. I'm gonna put them on the ground for now. Oh, and I got this little gift from Merit. This is their winter set. I already took out the lip liner in here because it's just so beautiful, but I'm definitely gonna be packing these with me. And I just love, like, this is such a cute little, like, gift box. I really like it. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to take out my makeup and just kind of, like, see from a perspective like what do I really need what can I live without like I've got three blushes here like that are just cream so I'm going to organize it based on like bases skincare okay primers blushes so I've categorized my makeup into like little sections we have our base products here I really don't think I need this I think I can put this away okay so bases obviously skincare first but we'll go through that after i have my dior this is called the dior backstage face and body primer in 001 universal and then i also have my charlotte tilbury flawless filter in the shade number two fair so these are my two base products that i absolutely love so definitely bring these foundation so on like a minimal foundation day i usually just do concealer and i love my Kosas Revealer Concealer because it's super creamy. It doesn't cake under the eyes and it looks super duper beautiful. I can't find that. I also really like the NARS Creamy Matte Concealer, Soft Matte Concealer, and this is in the shade Affogato. And this is really good for blemishes. It does really work under the eye as well, but I need to pair it with like a foundation. So I have the Giorgio Armani, Armani Luminous Silk in shade four. Um, and then I also have two other foundations in a bit of a lighter shade metal skin foundation in atelier one and atelier 0.5 so i think i'm good with those and then in terms of powders i have my givenchy um prism libre this is the rose version and i think this is just i don't think i really need this i just feel so soft though i don't know do i want to bring this this is really good at blurring okay i am going to bring this one and I'm also going to bring my Laura Mercier 
translucent powder and then if I can find my Charlotte Tilbury I'm gonna pack that one so those are my base I think I'm overdoing it with blush because I've got three cream blushes here and like three other blushes so the first one I have here is doo doo these are all Westman Atelier by the way the next one here is Chouchette I don't think I need Chouchette, Chouchette. and the other one is Petal I don't know they're kind of like similar but different this one gives like cool girl vibes like cold girl like you know like that rosy cheek vibe and this one is kind of like just the signature Westman Atelier petal so screw it I'm bringing both now I've got two powder blushes this one is NARS orgasm which I love so I think I'm gonna bring this and then I can't go wrong with the Dior um pink blush it's just like this really hot pink Cute. okay so I'll bring those two now I don't know if I want to bring this blush topper I think I will because it just gives me like also really healthy cold girl vibes and that is the Westman Atelier Pot de Peche so for bronzer I'm being minimal I have my mini of the Westman Atelier Contour Stick and Biscuit which is amazing I have again okay so I have a full size of this that I repurchased to restock and I don't know where it is. So I bought the mini one because I am out of my other one. And then for powder, we have the Victoria Beckham one. Don't think I need any more. And then highlight, I think this is appropriate. I have the Chanel Le Bon, which is kind of like a lighter, paler one. And then I have this warmer highlight. And this is Perla by Westman Atelier. So I've got those two. I feel like this is pretty good. Eyebrows, I've got my Benefit Brow um conditioner the precise eyebrow pencil and then the merit um brow gel and then for eye like eyeshadow supreme nudes matte masterpiece by artist couture and they're just a bunch of matte nudes which i love and then i've got a couple other like single eyeshadows so this one is glace this is a solo shadow by merit this came in the holiday collection I think this is a limited edition so it's kind of like a nice like neutral champagne if I want to do a bit of a pop like a shimmery pop I've got the Victoria Beckham chiffon and my foolproof everyday like going out kind of one is the chocolat by um Westman Atelier and I love that okay let's see if it'll fit in this Parabelle one but I'm like kind of doubting that it will so Let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna put my larger products in first. Oh, it all fits. Okay, so there is all the makeup. I don't want it to all fall out. Okay, the next thing that I need to condense is my skincare. And I don't know why, I have a very simple skincare routine, but when I pack, I just like over, over pack. Um, definitely bringing the road um glazing milk peptide glazing fluid light moisturizer thicker moisturizer augustness batter exfoliating product good jeans lactic lact i want to say lactic acid yeah lactic acid treatment dr barbara serum hyaluronic serum moisturizing vintner's daughter love that stuff um this is where i i don't know if i need this la mer lotion but i got this last year in a advent calendar so i think i might bring it just to like force myself to use it because i don't want it to go bad now eye cream i don't think i need an eye cream i think i can pass on the eye cream i do want to bring a mask just in case so i have this glow better dior face mask definitely need sunscreen l to md so i think we're good for skincare i just need a cleanser so in order i would do my road glazing or this treatment one my serums face oil face cream treatment yeah okay we're good so let's see if this will fit in this guy i have my hair silk peptides from agent achav and i do kind of want to fit this in here she tight but it does work and then i've got my back of hat that's not gonna fit Okay, maybe I'll just leave it like this close. close it. Oh yeah, that closes. Perfect. Okay, so skincare done with the exception of the toning milk 
and then I want this to be safe. This has a lot of stuff in it. Again, I think I can also condense it. Shampoo, way detox shampoo. Dry shampoo, definitely a must. I've got two texturizing sprays, the Living Proof and the Orbe. And I need to figure out which one of those I want to bring because I don't think I need both. I've got two shower gels, but I'm like a moot scent person. So I thought the Eucalyptus and the Chanel. Let's see. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and then this one. This one feels like night out, kind of like luxury. So I'm gonna bring those two. I've got these two, the Orbe um, Royal Blowout Styling. And then this is Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I think I'll bring both. They're so small, right? Like it's gonna fit. Mask as my conditioner, leave-in conditioner, that spray. I feel like everything I have, oh, and then loofah. I feel like everything I have here, like I kind of need. Yeah, we're just gonna pack it all, pack it all. And I think that this bag is perfect to fit everything in. Oh, I'm definitely gonna bring an exfoliant. This is the mini salts of the sea. So I'm gonna bring that. This is the body oil. Love that, it smells so good. Now I haven't used their anti-aging body balm before. What does you smell like? Ooh, okay. I think I'm changing my mind. I don't think I'm gonna bring, oh my God, okay. Hold up. Yeah, no, I'm gonna leave this one. Gotta make sure that my skin is hydrated. Cleanser, cleanser, I need that. Perfect, I was looking for a cleanser, so I'm gonna take this cleanser with me and will this fit in here? That is the question. Ha, huh, beautiful, perfect fit. I think I'm gonna bring this on the plane. It's like the perfect little itty bitty baby size. Okay, wonderful. Live, laugh, love, I'm so excited. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm also going to bring this Merit um, Great Skin Serum. What is this? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring you in here in my, my little travel, travel guy. Okay. So I've got all these boxes I need to get rid of. Wonderful. Wonderful. I think we're good. I think we got it. 